and Mel from Mel Barlow's Designs here. Uh, today I thought I'd pop by and shoot a video in regards to all the manual die cutting machines out there. Mainly the Big Shot and Cuddle Bugs. Um, these ones are you using just a handle to crank through um, your dies with a cutting pad and a platform. Um, really simple to use. But I find a lot of people freak out when they hear creaks or see cuts on their cutting pads. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanted to show you that uh, as my pads are quite old, as you can see, they're still quite straight. Um, they've even got a crack here that I um, had some fun with a letterpress once that wasn't meant to be going through. Um, as you can see, they're still, they're still working fine. Every time I find I'm making something and I'm using it quite a bit and it bows, I just flip it over to the other side and I just put it straight through again and it flattens it out. So that's how I keep my pads nice and straight, how they're meant to be. If yours does start bowing, just turn it over, put it back through. Depending on how bowed, if yours is really starting to bow, I probably would put under a few books, heavy books first for a day or so to just slowly flatten it. Because if you have one that's really bent and put through, it can crack it right through. Okay? Okay, we also have another platform called the Magnetic Platform. Now these are quite expensive because they've got magnets right through. There's about six to eight magnets on, in between the plastic. Um, so if you've got any heart problems, probably not a great idea to have it around you. But um, it is really a great source for when you are using your metal dies. Use your cutting pad, then your metal die. It stays put as you're, you're going through your, your machine. Um, sometimes it still will move because the magnets are in segments so I usually use just a bit of washi tape if I don't want it to move at all but usually they'll stay put once the sandwich is put through and it can be an awesome little tool. So I'm going to be using the Lawn Fawn metal dies, the Scripty Congrats and the Puffy Clouds, Puffy Stitch Clouds as you can see, there's a bit of detail that will um, imprint on your cutting pads. So I thought I'd, I'd just show you a little bit how to use these with a Big Shot. It, the same goes for your cuddle box. You have a platform which will go through first. There's a few tabs on the Big Shots for different, different cutting sandwiches. With the um, metal wafer thin dies, we use it just on tab tab two, so just the plain sandwich. And then, excuse my cutting pad, but they're quite well used, about three years old. So as you can see, this is really normal. One cutting pad. Then we have our paper. Sorry about that. Then we have our dies. I usually face them down. So this will cut into your cutting pad. Then we have the next part of our sandwich, which is our second cutting pad. And then we roll that through. Now excuse if we start shaking. Okay, that's gone through. Of course there's no creaks or cracking happening to me because my pads are quite well used. Now you'll find in, on your first few times with your brand new cutting pads that it will creak. So as you can see it's cut out design. Very nicely well cut. Not a worry and the gross thing about the Big Shot is it's really easy on your hands and your wrists. It goes through quite smoothly without really having to crank it really hardly. Okay, 
so that was my quick video today showing you how to basically use your big shot and not to worry about all these these crickly lines in your cutting pads it's meant to happen okay thanks for watching bye